Good morning. It's Monday, so I'm going to be working on one of my Monday morning sketchbook collages, and I thought I'd take you along and from start to finish and show you how I work on that. I have two different size um, little sketchbooks that I use. I have this tiny little one, and that's the one I'm going to be using today. And I also have this larger one that I use sometimes. So we had a really hot weekend here in Connecticut, and uh, they said that even today might even be hotter. So I just felt like I wanted to work with some of my blue and tan colors that uh, are kind of beachy colors. I have a whole box that I've collected of just those papers. So I'm going to uh, show you that, and I'll start working on the collage. Okay, so now you can see my workspace here. This is my little sketchbook with some of the smaller collages that I've done in the past. So I'm going to work in a horizontal format today and I already pulled out a few tiny tiny little pieces of paper of blue and tan that I want to use but I'm looking for a larger brown piece to go on the bottom here. So I was going to show you a, my separate box that I have here of all of my blue and tan papers and just a variety of things. I have some painted papers here. Uh, this is, looks like some blue tape from something, more painted paper. I have um, some burlap. This little piece here, I have some longer ones in here somewhere. That, that is actually one of the little strips out of a blue tarp. And let's see, what else do I have now? I have some blue netting. I have some pieces of fabric. Uh, this is a bag from a bakery I liked the colors of. And you can see just a variety of things. I like to include white in here too. I have this from a candy box and then just some uh, different white papers in here. Some tissue paper that has a little bit of a, a pattern to it. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't really see that here. But I'm just going to take I think I saw, yeah, I'm going to take this piece here and uh, work with this. All right, so I'm going to start with that piece on the bottom. So also I have a glue stick here. This is my favorite uh, glue stick to work with. Anytime I'm working in my sketchbook, I will use this uh, UHU glue stick. And then I also have just a phone book. You can use any scrap paper you have, a catalog, an old catalog, um, anything that you can, you can glue on so that you don't get your working surface all sticky. So I'm thinking I want to put a strip of this across the bottom. So I'm going to just uh, tear a little piece of this. It's a little bit long, so I'm just going to adjust that. Kind of like that, and then I'm going to be putting. I kind of, I, I will usually lay out my pieces first just to see kind of where I might want to put them. And sometimes I'll even take a picture of it if I don't want to forget how I have the pieces arranged. And that can be really helpful. So I'm just kind of laying some things out here. I'm going to put, make this into some layers here. And I'll probably put some white on top of that at some point. So I'm going to take, I found this in that box too. I kind of like that's a nice dark solid strip. I'll put a, at least one, if not more of those. I'm just going to tear up those into some little pieces. And I think I'll start gluing. I'll just move these things off of here. And I'll just show you, I'm just going to turn the piece over. I'm just kind of working from the center. Oop, that piece ripped, but that's okay. I'll just piece that back together. And the center out is a good way to uh, Put the glue on your collage pieces. So you stick that piece down. Slide it 
and I don't mind if it gets wrinkly. I kind of like that. It adds to, gives a little texture. Some glue on that dark blue piece. Put that up here in the corner. And I'm just trying to make a little bit of a kind of a beachy landscape. See what I'm what I'm gluing. Some more. And that piece. And I'm going to just start layering a little bit of the brown. The different brown pieces that I have. A piece of that down there. And then I think I'll just put one more sit on there. Take some more of the brown. I think this is a piece of a, a napkin that I painted. That's why it's so thin and delicate and keeps ripping. I think I'll add a little bit more glue over there. This time I'm just going to put some of the glue directly on the collage and cover it with this really sheer piece of white. This is a piece of a napkin as well, so I'll just press that on there. And I'm using a glue stick to kind of burnish that down on there. Because once that dries, that's not going to be sticky, it'll be fine. And I think I need some more glue for that top area.
I really like this little piece of tarp here. I'm gonna put that piece in there somehow. Yeah, just sometimes I'll put the glue on and just try to let it fall on the paper however it wants to and just leave it like that. That piece got very sticky and gluey, so I'm just going to get that one off. Maybe one last little and the long skinny strip here. Oops. Okay, so I think I'm ready to call that just about finished. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together one of my little sketchbook collages. Thanks for joining me. Bye.